Hey everyone, Eric here with XboxEdge.com taking a look at Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This new Metal Gear game was developed by Platinum Games, a newcomer to the long running franchise. With Metal Gear Rising, Solid Snake is out and Raiden is in, along with a fast paced, aggressive melee combat system. Raiden stylishly eliminates enemies using his sword and various other weapons to slash, knock down, juggle, and slice his way through the mix of cyborgs and mechs in his way. You can hack and slash or button mash, but there is a strong combo system in Revengeance that lets you string attacks together for maximum carnage. The combo works very well. All the animations are fluid and unlockable moves seamlessly transition to combos. Coupled with the chaotic combat system is Blade Mode, which allows the player to accurately define the arc in which Raiden will direct his sword. During this mode, you'll be able to dismember enemies, slash down incoming rockets, and even chop vehicles in half. Blade Mode is elegantly violent, easy to understand, and illustrates what a complete badass Raiden is. Unlike most action games, Revengeance nails quick time events. Instead of watching a cool action sequence that you'd rather play and wait for a prompt, the quick time events in Revengeance fit within the context of the combat system to quickly finish off enemies. There are quick time events during boss battles that are a little more traditional, but they don't feel out of place. The only place where the combat falls flat is when using grenades or rocket launchers. Instead of the fast paced chaotic action we're used to from the game, Raiden will simply stop stand still to lob a grenade or fire a rocket. While this isn't entirely unrealistic, it feels weird given the rest of the combat, not to mention it makes Raiden extremely vulnerable. Another area where the game has some issues is with the camera. Most action games where the player is dashing on the screen tend to have some problems with the camera, and Revengeance is no exception. While the camera isn't as bad as a game like Ninja Gaiden 2, it does run into some problems when it's placed too close to a wall or object. It can be frustrating to die because of a sudden shift in camera angle, but it doesn't happen frequently. One of the staples of the series are boss battles, and Revengeance will throw one at you every 45 minutes. Most of the boss battles are very tough without being cheap, and will force the player to step up their game in order to overcome them. At the end of each battle, epic music begins to fade in, creating a tense and exhilarating experience. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is an excellent action game and one of the strongest debuts of 2013 so far. The combat is fast paced and aggressive and the innovative blade mode works extremely well. While there are minor issues with the camera and some weapons, the overall experience is chaotically fun. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and head over to xboxedge.com for the latest news and reviews pertaining to the Xbox 360.